quite some travel probably. <laughs> something inexpressible we are in the penultimate round of Swedish top flight Alsvensk and welcome to HFV everyone yet another Swedish match day documentary if you're new in the channel I sincerely recommend you to check out the Sweden playlist link one in the description one of the most heated rivalries in Swedish football two historical clubs from Sweden's two biggest cities 18 times Swedish champions two times UEFA Cup winners EFK Göteborg are up against 12 times Swedish champions OIK this channel is Hungarian in its name I myself am Hungarian but at this point it is really the home of Swedish supporter culture. EFK and OIK have two of Sweden's top top supporter bases creating the best atmosphere displaying some of the sickest pyro shows and TIFOs. They both have insane struggles this year and after yesterday's results they can still end up on a relegation playoff place. One of them though the chance for that is really minimal. I visited this game last year it ended with late drama link to in description for the video. And I was also lucky enough to document two of OIK's local derbies both in September link 3 and 4 in description respectively. These clubs hate each other so much I can't give it back to you in front of the camera but you'll see. In 2009 they played a league decider in EF Göteborg's home Gamla Ullevi, the stadium we are visiting today. Side note it's gonna be my 13th time here with the channel so it's really a special place for HFV. That league decider in 2009 ended with a 1-2 Oiko victory after EF Göteborg were 1-0 up at halftime. Oiko supporters went on to celebrate on the pitch causing scars to EFK souls which haven't healed until today. After that EFK's ultras allowed not to let the celebration like that happen on their own ground ever again and acted accordingly when Birko Hecken won their first SM Guld on Gamla Ullevi last year. These supporters really deserve a similar performance to 2009 from both of their teams instead of the cesspit they have been in this year. I can't emphasize properly how huge respect I have for both these sets of supporters because of their contribution to original football culture. This is the most frequently played game in the Swedish top flight, time to look at the last and head to head. No single away win since 2018, 8 home victories and a draw earlier this year. Now you can see all the nicknames of the home team on screen, I'll probably call them by the nickname Blowbit during this game. Baiko call themselves Gnaget, you can see a translation and an explanation to it on screen as well. Time to go, capture the pre-match atmosphere and hopefully stay safe. You see he's calm before the storm you can already feel the tension it all gets going in minutes our first destination is john scott's stable that's the usual gathering area of away supporters when they come to gothenburg the oiko supporters are now there and i'm gonna try to capture some voices of them well, well bad luck with that because uh, two hours ahead of kickoff the security wouldn't let in any more people there are quite many john scott's here in Göteborg. And this is John Scott's palace. The Oiko supporters who weren't let into the other place were sent here. So away supporters with me here, two hours ahead of the game. Is it your first time in Göteborg? I bet not. Uh, no, no, second. How was your trip here? It was really nice. Really we nice. have the few many birds to, on the way here. Yeah. Yeah, and then we go to the bar here. But no, no more bears. We're focused on the game. Fair enough, you have to remember something of that as exactly, well. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. A disappointing season is uh, drawing to a close. How do you guys see the current situation around the club? I think we will stay in Allsvenskan. I don't think there's much doubt about that. What about next season maybe? Uh, next season we have it. We have Soletro yeah. 16 goals next season. If he stays. Do you have a chance to win today? A score prediction please. I have like 2-0 on AAK. Yeah, I think 1-0 to AAK. Göteborg. <laughs> Hota, hota, hota Göteborg! Hota, hota, And the last one, favorite player of Aiko? Otto Zoletris is pretty good you know, yeah. right, right now. He's key player in that. We got uh, Milo, but he's sick today. Yeah. Unfortunately. 
It, do you guys see what's happening in the background? This is actually both Aiko and the FCO yeah, supporters yeah, there. Not, uh, right side, right yeah, yeah, side, yeah. Aiko left of the FCO, and they're already chanting going, against each other. Yeah, this game is really That's traditional. Yeah. Because in 2009, we have. Uh, uh, you won the SM Gold. Yeah, in we won the SM Gold with Martin Mutumba yes. scoring the final goals. Yes. Yeah, um, I know what he did uh, yeah. before the game, but tell the viewers yourself as an Aiko yeah. supporter what he did. Martin Mutumba. It's like a god. Yeah, what about the tattoo? Talk about the, the tattoo. Tattoo here, right here. <laughs> so he did a tattoo. 2K09. The story is that he's put that on his body before yeah, the game, yeah, yeah. before the goal yeah, was, was uh, secured for Aiko. I didn't remember if it was one day or one week earlier. Yes. He put it on his chest, yes. right here. And then you want it eventually yeah. after turning it exactly. around. Exactly. Now I have put it right here. Oh, yes. Eko, right here, on my leg. Guys, thank you so much for the interview Thanks and I so wish much. you the best of luck and enjoy yes, the game. Uh, you too. I think thank we you. win today. Yes, easy win. <laughs> So behind me, I've created our supporters, and in front of me, I call. And as we are approaching the heart of Gothenburg Avenue and getting closer to the Poseidon statue, we will see more and more supporter bars full of blue and white blue supporters. That's away, the away section and the flag was just thrown towards them but uh, yeah it's all closed off by police as you see. It's all happening in front of our eyes. Left side Oiko, right side the FKT board, a lot of police, ultras flares thrown over. That's quite some trouble, probably. There up front is where they would meet, I guess. And there where it would probably come to some fights. So according to me and according to my content, that's not really a part of football. So, so I'm really not gonna film that. But uh, yeah, for you to see what the atmosphere is like for a game like this. This is what we're experiencing now from here, from like a 100 meter distance. This is also part of it. Thanks for joining me for the interview today. Whereabouts are you seated in the stadium? Commando Bryggan or somewhere else? Uh, yeah, near the Solplatz, Commando Bryggan. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be an amazing game today. Family tradition to support the FK Göteborg at yours? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Score prediction for today and who will score? 2-1 uh, uh, to uh, Blåvitt FK Göteborg. Uh, I think that Arbrun Rukolli will score one and that uh, Gustav Svensson goes and uh, head their heads one in. Uh, Salietros does a goal in the 73rd minute for AIK as well. So that would mean that uh, if Göteborg are staying in the league, maybe a bit better performance next year? Yeah, I, know. I just like to go into the games, like if it goes well, that's, that's good as well. But I really think that um, it's about going to the games and not about winning. Like it's, it's really nice to win, but I don't know. The supporters of Viejo Göteborg this year really outdone themselves going so badly and uh, still almost every single game, full house. How would you rate that? Uh, 10 out of 10, I, uh, I can't describe it even. Can we expect a TIFO today? Oh, I don't know, maybe Pyro. Uh, but it was an amazing TIFO at last time against EFL Sport. That's right, I was here. Yeah, yeah. oh, beautiful, yeah. Uh, but I, I think maybe, we'll see. Thank you so much, best of luck and enjoy the game. Bars inside the stadium as well. Technically outside, him from point of the entering shop there as well, and all sorts of free time activities as always at Blovit. But in this uh, windy winter approaching weather, it's uh... hey man. <laughs> and again, so introduce yourself. No, you don't have to. <laughs> You're good. My best, my best. Here we have a famous Swedish YouTuber who we won't introduce yet which team he supports, is that correct? 
Huh? You see, we'll be sitting next to each other, so it's gonna be fun. I thought for a sec that that's an Oiko hat, but uh, you'll be pretty audacious with that here, so not yet. I have to be really low, low key right now. You never know what what kind of people. Welcome to Jeteborg. Thank you. The children in the central circle uh, left the unusual way because of the, it was a bit wide. It was a bit too wide reaching the whole show. Oh, 
morning's what collecting all what's uh, remaining from this sick firework show. The players were uh, clapping when they came back on the field, but they had to leave as well, just like the children I mentioned before. Uh, sick, sick. I, I'm, I'm happy the match didn't get postponed because of this. Big supporter culture, guys. It's... Here we are once again with Mio, also known as Gracie, link to his channel in the description. How do you see today's game? It's fun to watch it with you. Yeah, you too. It's a great atmosphere in here, so I think it's going to be a great game on the pitch and on the... On the stands? Exactly, exactly. Great to have you here. Score prediction? Uh, I think it's going to be 1-1. One, one. Uh, Oiko needs uh, one point to uh, be safe for the next season, so... I think it is 1 1, 80 minutes. AIK will probably go back home and we will see. Let the better team win and enjoy the game. Yeah. The was supporters furious with the ref because uh, in the middle of the park there might have been a handball for uh, Ayari of Aiko. That was some serious mistake in the back from the effort the board. The team didn't understand each other, the defenders. And and it resulted in a goal line clearance, but what the referee was doing inside the box, I'm still trying to figure out. Speaker says Sebastian Olson, but uh, yeah, that guy who scored actually two against Aiko in uh, France Arena in Stockholm in the first game of the season. But uh, it's not his goal; it's an own goal. It was deflected in in the 30th minute, one 0 for the home team. We have to boy. Away. I don't know whether he's able to come back. 
This is not able to come back. Sebastian Olsson injured once again. He came back against Jurgården in August and had to be subbed off. And now had a goal contribution with a sort of assist in Ongo, but uh, he's injured again. And since he came back to EF Göteborg from uh, FC St. Pauli in Germany, he's been battling with, uh, with injuries regularly. Lukas Kohad on his place in the 38th minute. It's, uh, it's really unfortunate for EF Göteborg. Even because of apparent handball, and uh, two blow with players are lying on the ground. Here we have the halftime we saw one nail after that unlucky goal for EF Göteborg. First of all we saw a sick viral show before the game, the first half which uh, Aiko started better but then after half an hour it deflected in for EF Göteborg after Sebastian Olsson's cross and after that the, the blue and white team have been a bit better with, uh, with more confidence but Aiko were actually dangerous on the counter, dangerous but not accurate enough to, to finish it all off. Really interesting what's going to happen in the second half. Both teams will attack the goal, their ultras are behind. Interesting whether uh, we're going to be able to finish the game without an interruption. Looking forward to the second half, let's start it. A short service announcement before we continue. Traveling to create football content is incredibly special, but it takes up a lot of time, effort and money. Please support my work by sending thanks below the video with an amount you choose or via the channel's Patreon page you see on screen and in the description. If you don't have the intention of sending money, please support HFV with a like, a share and a subscribe on the journey of creating educational football content. Content. Thank you very much for your help and a special shout out to my hosts. If you're a teenager, you just ignore what I said and spend the amount on yourself, same what I did at your age. Don't forget to check out the channel's social media either. Let's carry on. going in these minutes uh, from both sides the match was interrupted because of the pyro show of VF Göteborg before the second half would have started but I really don't understand it because it was a much smaller one than the, the fireworks show they did before the game so it's sort of illogical anyway the, they don't the match is paused for like at least 15 minutes now and if I understand correctly the, the Oiko supporters sing that banter chant they uh, they've rewritten the anthem of EF Göteborg and to the same melody they wrote a song about them winning the gold in 2009 on this ground 
and obviously the supporters have to entertain themselves when uh, literally nothing is happening. I hope they uh, make the decision soon because they actually threatened uh, the whole arena that the, the match is going to be cancelled the second half. So we, we really hope we can carry on soon. Murcholi kicks the ball underway and we finally start the second half. Seventh minute, Oiko equalized a rebound and a shot from close in. He wasn't really in the game, but after their first half performance, I'd say they deserved it. Uh, my friend next to me is definitely happy about it. It will be an even more fierce game from now on. thousand one hundred and sixteen people in the stadium today in a capacity of eighteen thousand four hundred that decent job once again huge game though
Waco guaranteed their uh, Alsvenskan membership for 2024 with this one point. Yeah, Göteborg not mathematically, but uh, yeah, quite a great chance for that as well. Waco were much much better in the second half, especially in the last 20 minutes plus additional time. So uh, Yev Göteborg are uh, sort of lucky not to concede eventually, even though there weren't that big chances. It wasn't a it wasn't a scandalous match like uh, the one last week. Yev Göteborg against CFS Borg. Mixed reaction amongst the home supporters, some booing, some clapping. It's not the case when uh, you look over to Aiko. Really quick last question, my friend. Are you as happy with the draw as they are? I'm so happy right now. Finally, the season is over, and then uh, I can't hide my smile. I've Oh, this season, man. I will never look back. Fuck. Can't stop celebrating. They deserve it. Still celebrating, Oiko. First of all, sorry for this really weird angle and place to film this summary. Look at that, the low budget microphone and the terrible quality selfie camera are both back for now. There are no direct flights between Gothenburg and Budapest anymore, so I have to spend an easy 11 hours at a different airport. Mental round 29 with Malmö screwing the title decider chance against Hecken away. And later that day, a game which I think none of us will forget for a really long time. Elfsborg incapable of beating relegation candidates Degafors to win Auschwitzkan 2023. The same day as our game, Norshopping coming back from nil 3 against Warbet to win it eventually 4-3 in the 90th minute. And eventually our game EF Göteborg against Oiko, a game which will be memorable after what happened on the stands rather than on the pitch. Congrats to Oiko for staying in the league. I hope you guys will be fighting on a different level next year. To avoid the relegation playoffs, EF Göteborg need a win against last place already relegated Var bad away, but they lost the home leg against them. And after, especially after what happened in this round 29, you literally never know in Auschwitzkan the most unpredictable league. As always, hats off to both home and away supporters, and a special shout out to Commando Brücken for the wildest pyro show I've ever seen. The only disadvantage of it, which is quite massive though, is that it has almost hit the children in a central circle holding up the blue and white scarves for Snatch and Poseidon. I absolutely love pyro and consider it an essential part of the culture, however, I can only stand behind it. Uh, personally, if it doesn't pose a danger to anyone, especially not children. Really fun to see Oiko's Instagram posting about former players Mikael Lustig and Sebastian Larsson joining the away support on the stands. This is what the team spirit is really about. Absolutely love it. My EFCO vlogger tour ended with only one point in two games this time. Pretty unfortunate. This was the last EFCO vlog in 2023, except if that really unwanted relegation playoff happens. Then I'll obviously try to travel over again. The warmest greetings go to Göteborg and Stockholm. I really hope you guys enjoyed the content. Don't forget to check out the playlists on the channel to make the most out of your experience. And if you had a fun time watching the content, don't forget to join me on social media, all possibilities on screen. I was HFV. Thank you, Degen, for securing that Alsvenskan final experience for next Sunday. See you there. Hade gut eller hade bra, whichever you prefer. See you next time.